Pisces. So change is happening. So here we have give your relationship a chance. To me, I feel an energy of you working on this new connection. New love has been in your energy for a while. We have divine timing is work is at work. So obviously a waiting period. Um, you have engagement, which is your love life is ascending to higher levels of commitment. So this is to me is the new connection. But there are changes happening, religious factors. So this is a lot of you. Um, for me, this religious factor has to do with death energy, judgment, um, temperance, right? Patience, things, right? Things are, are moving. This is to me, the cosmos represents the cosmos, helping things move along in your life. Um, yep. So for you and your new connection, playfulness, make sure you keep this in a high vibe, high energy. You're in a place of freeing yourself. So a lot of you is this X that was in your energy for some time. And this is why I say it's like, this has been a steady, slow progress for a lot of you. And this person has been clinging. So let's see what's going on in the interference for those of you where this is a roadblock. What is the interference here? So someone obviously is wearing a mask, right? There's there's this pretend energy in one because of the silence. So good. That means there's good. There's good boundaries here, um, which is what happens when we raise the wall to someone who's trying to bring conflict, right? Someone there's confliction here. Um, so there's a confliction here. Intimacy, right? Closeness, sexual seclusion, and memories. Bittersweet, dwelling, reminiscing. So to me, this is the past energy who's just in a state of regret you are in another relationship so this is when uh, you know this transition of a new love appears i think you have a lingering ex a lot of you are are um it's someone you have a family with you know children because in order for someone also to linger this long is because they're always in your energy there's family there's a reason why you guys have to be in communication contact because there's no if there's no kids there's no need to be in communication anyone this toxic you need to make sure you remove from all social media everything because you don't want them in your energy you know even if they start stalking who gives a damn you know they need to be gone if there's no reason to have them then they need to be removed so let's see what else we've got here for your energy beautiful i love to see this Taurus. And this is what I'm saying. It's good energy because you have something really good. Harmony was very big. Sixes were very big in last week's readings. There's a lot about harmony throughout all the, the um, signs. A lot of balancing scales. So good karma paying off right now. And that's where I feel this switch in my energies for the love reads this week so far. So I'm, I know my readings are going to be extremely good very pivotal <coughs> anytime i sneeze in my readings i know there's truth so there's truth here taurus so crown chakra pay attention to the signs um and two of cups beautiful pay attention to the signs here taurus because a lot of you just have a, again it's about your high vibe there goes judgment i knew it this is what this change is. A lot of changes. You have the Ace of Pentacles, a lot of newness. You have the strength here with power, Leo energy. Um, but judgment is here. And all this is the cosmos are helping you get through this stage. So this is a cycle completion for a lot of you where things really are. And it's really reaching its final stages here with the judgment, because right after judgment, it's the world, the cycle ends. And so because we have a number one, this also means it's a new beginning. Um, so let's see what's going on here. Let's get added energies. And we're on the six of cups, beautiful. That means this is good. The star with the six of swords and there goes the justice. This is what I was saying last week here, Taurus. We talked about justice and things, karma balancing out. This is a harmonization. So you're reaching this really full potential. This is your match. This is your person. You guys have are really reaching to a higher level of commitment with this person. You guys could be dealing with an Aquarius or Libra. 
but things are going to move along so whatever conflict is going to fall away this you are having a completion of energy here give me more of this ace of pentacles that's why you have this divine timing which really is also a temperance energy here beautiful so here we have with the ace of pentacles the hanged man empress energy and the hermit so this is going to be very abundant and it's going to come from a lot of wise counsel perspective and hermit together is a lot of wise counsel within yourself also again the crown chakra all of this energy here is crown chakra with these two guys and that's when you're getting a lot of messages from spirit on how to go about how to operate how to react how to respond um having a very i feel a very um hand man knowing not to be reactive because there's wisdom this is when you accomplish a very still spirit and you operate from this empress energy because you're in a understanding your relationship with the source you're in an energy of flow and this is about receiving so a lot of you have this very still spirit within yourself yeah sun wanted to come out it's, a, it's really bringing in positive change as long as you carry that energy let me get more on this um i'm actually you know with from this deck let's get on this hermit three of pentacles so yeah a lot of you are negotiating with the justice here probably negotiating contracts legal legal contracts you're getting very wise counsel here there's a lot of wise counsel these are also um uh these are also spirit guides or um how do i want to say these are souls that come into to help you in this transition let's get more on this empress because this is really a good energy a lot of you this is your person right you some of you are dealing with the libra but this is your good connection i want this empress wow so many cards so page of swords wow so here comes your your other person so those also this is so since we have three okay spirit thank you we have the three so clearly there's a third party a lot of you is this ex ex husband ex-wife too many cards are out here yeah but here's the wheel of fortune so things are obviously changing lots of conversation truths are coming out it may put this person in a very um vindictive energy you have the four of cups again the conflict this person's in a very bitter place this is a bitter 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 person yep look at these nine of swords bitter 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 and four of swords and this has a lot to do with the separation so there's no talking so clearly a lack of communication is putting in this person in this um it's, uh, it's almost like this person definitely is cornered but because this is gonna this is gonna work in your favor i can see it justice this is working in your favor here game more on justice scales are balancing out here ace of swords yep this is a breakthrough beautiful and there you go taurus breakthrough the lovers so definitely an ending of a cycle with one person and you're moving into a harmony harmonized connection so this is definitely justice coming to you a breakthrough um end of contract right so contracts clearing obviously this this creates this energy so this person is obviously very conflicted they're going to be in this mask right they're going to be in this mask but always know taurus your silence is what really kills them yeah the loss this is where they grieve they have this grief right sorrow their lost soul they the silence kills them but you got to give time more about time and why because of boundaries yep strong boundaries will place an energy and this is how it brings change this is why i i always talk about you know the soul and energies in terms of how we have to help the energies move through as well to give more of the judgment because you know this is about focusing our minds on the outcome our desired outcome so give more on the truth so where our thoughts go yep truth is coming out judgment a lot of you this can queen of swords here with the truth a lot of you can represent this can represent a judge 
So here, all of this comes to play. It will take some time, Knight of Pentacles, so maybe things are moving a little slow. Give me more of this judgment. But again, breakthroughs. So Knight of Wands, yep, things move along. Things move along, the Fool. So this release will take a little bit, the moon. I think so, much, so many things are coming and being revealed here with the world. So there is a new cycle here. Clearly there's a new cycle here. So there is a lot of truth coming on. This is where the strength card comes in, the resilience. You're gonna have to have a lot of um, patience here, willpower, don't let it challenge your ego. Give more of the strength. Don't let it get in your head as well. Be more on your strength. Because you have this great connection here. There's just noise. That's all I see, Taurus. There's a great connection. This is all positive here. Justice is falling into place. But something is closing out for you to have this physical new beginning, this new life. Be more on the strength. This is why Spirit is saying divine timing is at work in your love life. Why the strength? Yeah, focus on your happiness here with your strength. Give me more on the strength. I love it. This says it everything, everything here, Taurus. Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. This is focus on you. Don't let them hit your ego. Don't let them disrupt it. Stand tall, stand straight, stand balanced, stand emotionally strong. You know, there's an emotional mastery and intellect. This is where the hermit comes in, guys. You know how much I tell you guys about the hermit energy. This is your wise counsel. So a number nine, you guys have nine. Hermit is the number nine, which is um, major arcana to the nines. These are the minor arcana to the hermit. Nine of cups, nine of pentacles. You use your wise counsel emotionally and know that how you process things internally is how they show they reflect on the external stand strong be confident own your power be intentional um and don't let the noise get to you you know don't let it because this is what this person we have king of swords again so a lot of you this is court and also representing this ex who just wants obviously to make noise here give me more of this queen of swords with the judgment why is the queen of swords here three of wands so stay optimistic here this is gonna really change this this whatever's happening is gonna have forward movement um i'm gonna pull for this three of wands with another deck give me more of this three of wands yeah you see forward movement ace of wands whatever this is the, whatever this energy is queen of swords is going to have forward movement they're not going to win you're being overseen here so there's going to be an ending and a beginning here lots of positive things things where things were stuck for a long time but truths are coming out with the page of swords um they're coming out and it's just because I'm saying it this way, it doesn't mean it's going to be burdensome. Ten of Wands, but it's also it's also going to be the end. And it's 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 near, it's near. But it really requires a lot of resilience from your part. That's why Spirit is really screaming at me with these energies here. I feel it. Don't react. Don't let them emotionally shake you, and just be you know. Be your powerful self, you know, so let's see what there, obviously there's codependent here. This is normally should be used as warnings. <laughs> let's see what the codependent energy is here. Okay. Compulsive behaviors. Yeah. This person will be compulsive. That's a very queen of swords energy here too with the truth. So um, identify your internal feelings. What are you looking to control or feel for the moment? So this person obviously is just looking to control. This is a moment in time for them. Whatever they can do to get control. And then, of course, envy. They're envious of this. They're envious that you've moved on. A lot of you are in a new connection. So this is a trigger. Envy is a trigger. Remind yourself that no one has it all. It's okay to celebrate other successes. You truly are good enough. And this just speaks. I love how these cards always turn something positive. But the truth is, this is how you know the negative um, 
mindset of a person who is in this codependent energy that the truth is they know they don't feel good enough um, so they're envious of who you're with you're obviously with someone who's the star who you value and it's made you gain so much confidence so that means you're in a really genuine connection here because you feel good the fact that you are still independently feeling good in a relationship in a new relationship here Taurus means you feel good this person is your match because you still feel whole and there will be envy towards that so um let me see yeah so anyways let's see any other warnings i'll pull one more warning here from this dark let's see any other warnings for you because i know a lot of you this is legal battles yeah artificial love they don't really love you just stringing you along so there's to me this is a stringing along process um for those of you who have children to me this is also an, an um, artificial love what, whatever they're trying to do to create things to move slowly especially in divorces kids involved this is just lies they're creating lies <laughs> criminal mind yeah legal battles for a lot of you and here goes to justice this is what i'm saying there's gonna be breakthroughs um you see the scales here guys there's going to be breakthroughs here for you, Taurus. I mean, spirit, spirit could not clear, like, they put you here, letting me know it's you. You are going to have a breakthrough here. So this could in, engage in some criminal activity, theft, fraud, or using illegal drugs, sneaky behavior. So this person, those of you in court, it's just sneaky behavior. <sighs> this is going to be a problem for a lot of you, but you're going to have your breakthroughs for sure. Let me get another warning. That's why you're going to have to have this resilience. Don't let them, don't let the lies that they're going to create trigger you and the stories they're going to create. I, a lot of you, I really feel children. And this is kind of a criminal mind of keeping you away from your kids. I mean, that's the only battle. Now, obviously, a lot of you, if you have houses and stuff involved because... There's a lot of activity that they're just going to invent. And it's so sad that, you know, a lot of the times it's because we don't have the proper receipts in hand to prove things. But uh, what a headache. Let's see. Cheating. There, there, There's heavy flirting via text or sexting taking place. Perhaps even more. So this person was a cheater, obviously. Those of you who... Um, know that this person that's what i'm saying those of you who probably have them them acting like they still love you Ugh. i have this energy of a person who's acting out like they still care but the truth is is, is a lie it's it's more about the ego and what they're doing behind your back it's still cheating they're still cheating involved so this person is not a changed person even if they're trying to come across like they are so let's see what other lessons are you here for you what other lessons for Taurus. Wow. Okay. There's quite a few coming out here. So lessons of Uranus. Radical attraction and sexual pull come with inconsistency and detachment. Um, so in this case, I do feel there's a radical attachment, which is why this person all of a sudden has a pull on you, right? So it's inconsistent. So a theme of freedom or commitment you trying to gain your lesson here trying to gain your freedom back is bringing this person in right because you're part of their attachment issues no expectations are the best expe expectations to have so to me that's another um, lesson here where it's like don't have specific expectations which i do feel a lot of you are in a space because you're just ready to move forward so the biggest lesson also is just to like no expectations about what's happening but to just know that truth always comes out